My lord, please stand by a moment. I have urgent orders to put you into contact with my superior, Darth Victus. Ah, you've arrived, finally. I'm told that you've served Darth Zash well in your time as her apprentice. I am Darth Victus. Our Empire has need of you, Sith. Here and now. Depends on what you want me to do. The task at hand involves House Pantia, the weakened former rulers of Alderaan. Though most believe them wiped out, a few stragglers yet survive. These surviving Pantiers are needed to legitimize House Thule's eventual rule. We are creating an understanding with them even now, but the forces of House Ulgo plan to interfere. How can I serve the Empire in this matter, my lord? Ulgo has strike teams massing Thranta for transport. They intend to assault the Pantiers Mountain hideaway and slaughter all surviving members of the House. The eradication of House Pantier would greatly impede our plans for House Thule's ascendance. It cannot be allowed. You will find the Ulgo strike teams and destroy them at once. As you say. When it is done, report back to Lieutenant Muir. We will continue our discussion then. Farewell. Good luck.
demand medical attention. Be well. Welcome back. Probes have confirmed the full elimination of Ulgo's strike teams. I will contact Darth Victus immediately. My lord, Lieutenant Muir, the matter is dealt with. Perfect. The Empire is fortunate to have such a capable servant. This accomplishment will be well rewarded. I live to serve. You have served the Empire well, but there is yet more to be done. I am currently engaged in negotiations with the Pantheon survivors at their mountain hideaway. I will arrange for you to be allowed inside. Be sure to conduct yourself cautiously. The Pantheon hideaway is neutral soil. They won't tolerate uncalled for aggression. One obstacle still stands before our plans for House Thule. Boris Olgo, the supposed king of Alderaan himself. We'll speak more when you arrive. Farewell, my lord. Do you require medical attention? Be well. You've arrived. Allow me to, to, to introduce you to Lord Oren Pantier, nephew of the late Queen Solara Pantier, rightful Queen of Alderaan. 
Your Lordship, this is the hero I spoke to you about. The one who prevented Ulgo's barbarous attack against your noble house. It is an honor to meet you. My family owes you a great debt. You will always be welcome in the home of Pantir. I merely sowed a bit of destruction. My pleasure, really. The elimination of House Orgo's strike teams has forced them to draw men from their castle guard. The heart of their house lies exposed. Given your exemplary service in defense of House Pantheia, Lord Oren has deigned to grant you an opportunity to shape the future of Alderaan. Oris Ulgo, head of House Ulgo, has betrayed the noble laws of Alderaan and stolen the throne for himself. It will be your task to remove it from him. Is there going to be plenty of death involved? This is one of the most heavily guarded men on all of Alderaan. You will find no shortage of foes. Please, do everything within your power to capture Boris Ulga alive. The people of Alderaan deserve to see that usurper face justice. They deserve... Begging your pardon, my lord. An urgent matter requires your attention. Very well. Tell me what's happened. Captured alive, you will do no such thing. Even in chains, Boris Ulgo is a threat to House Thule's ascendants. He must be killed at all costs. Isn't it our goal to make Pantheia happy? We will be eliminating House Pantheia's greatest enemy. That is their only true concern. My apologies. Now, you understand the gravity of the task being given to you, don't you? Boris Ulgo is at the center of a castle stolen from our house, surrounded by an army of loyal troops. Until now, no one has dared challenge his position. The look on his face when I blast him to his knees will be priceless. We waited so long. This will be a momentous day. I must make preparations. I'll arrange for a special detachment of our elite Queen's Guard to move in behind you and collect the usurper once the job is done. Good luck. Do not fail us.
of our inventory will meet your needs. Thank you for your patronage. Here we are. It's just as I predicted. A mere tool of the Sith Empire, just like the beasts in House Thule, sent to wrench the throne of Alderaan away from those who rightfully possess it. You should save your breath. You may not have much more of it. If you think that I will fail now, then you are gravely mistaken. I was the only one strong enough to do what was necessary. The people of this world deserve a leader who will defend them. I will not surrender this throne for you or for anyone else. Only I can keep it safe. Only I can protect Alderaan. Surrender now and you can face a just trial. I will not be tried when my only crime is defending the people of Alderaan. This assassin men! Defend your king! Defend Odoron!
the show? This is not over. I'm not dead yet! I won't let you win. I won't let the Empire's shadow fall over Alderaan. This is not over. I'm not dead yet! I won't let you win. I won't let the Empire's shadow fall over Alderaan. Your fellow nobles can decide your fate. So be it. Let the battlefield change. I will fight to protect Alderaan from the Empire's filth to my last breath, just as I always have. Area secure, everyone. Looks like the hard part's been taken care of. Boris Olgo in the flesh. I wasn't sure if I'd ever have the pleasure. Save your mockery, Pantir. If your house were stronger, we wouldn't be here now. Prisoners do not speak. Let's get this traitor out of here. The operation was a success. Boris Olgo is in our custody. It's finally over. The usurper will finally face justice. You were right, Lord Victus. Our house owes you and House Thule a great debt. Yes, I must admit, even I am surprised that it was possible to capture the usurper alive. I hadn't expected that particular windfall. I couldn't care less about your expectations. Perhaps you should. You have delivered Boris Ulgo as promised. 
You have proved House Thule's commitment to the good of Alderaan. So you will have my support. Will your influence be enough to persuade those misled brothers and cousins of yours who have sided with House Organa? I'll do my best. But the Organos may not take well to losing. I fear this conflict could be far from over. If you ever need my help again, you only need to ask. I will certainly be keeping you in mind. Your work is done for the time being. You can go on about your own business. House Pantir will never forget what you've done for us. Thank you. Keep me apprised of the situation, Ertle. We may need to take action. Ah, Sith. Sorry to keep you waiting. I hope your search in House Alde was fruitful. I've been anxiously dreaming up scandals we could catch the spotless Nomar Organa in. Not really a scandal, but he was engaged once. Engaged? Interesting. Jedi aren't usually the marrying kind. Let me see. Engagement announcement, Nomar and Rihanna. My goodness, this is juicy. Must have been somewhere between 20 and 30 years ago. Long before I was born, but I remember hearing my nurses talking about it. The sister to the Lord of House Wrist was engaged to a prominent noble against the wishes of both their families. The coward broke it off. You think this Rihanna is Lord Wrist's sister? It's a perfect fit. Wrist is a house of highly trained assassins, and Lady Wrist is no exception. But she is perhaps most noted for her stubborn refusal to marry, and for the humiliations she pours on those who ask. Looks like Lady Wrist and I need to chat. Yes, I'd say so too. 
And if she is still in love with Noma, then you may be able to convince her to lure Noma to Alderaan. My words will be sweet as honey. But be wary. To reach Rohan Arist, you'll have to contend with the deadliest assassins on Alderaan. Good luck, Sith. Good to see you again, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a report to make to my lady. What's your report about? There are rumors that House Organa is planning a strike. The Lady Alana wanted me to find out if there's any truth to them. They're just rumors. Well, yes, if you put it that way. I suppose there's no hurry. Did you have something in mind for the interim? I think you can guess. I do have some very comfortable rooms nearby. I could order us some food, some wine. We could talk more freely there. I don't want us to be disturbed. As you wish. Well, that was very pleasant, wasn't it? But I shouldn't keep you any longer. You still have a great deal to do. Thank you for the lovely time. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. But I know I shouldn't keep you any longer, as much as I want to.